YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video. And in today's video, we have some more news about Jordan Reed. And not the news that we was all hoping for, but we have news that, that's devastating to his name and things like that. And he just needs to face the fact that his career is in jeopardy and he should hang it up. So without further ado, let's get straight into the news about Jordan Reed. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified about anything regarding to the NFL or the Washington Redskins. And I know I have a Yankee shirt on, but I have my Nats hat on. I'm a diehard Nationals fan. Um, I love the Nationals, but I've just had the Yankee shirt on just in support of the Yankees because one in 2017, Aaron Judge should have been the um, AL MVP, and two, it should have been the Dodgers and Yankees in the World Series in 2017. But we know the Astros, the Trash Astros, cheated, and now they're getting a lot of backlash from it. I don't know if you guys are big MLB fans like me, but yeah, so that's the reason why I have it on, and hopefully this could be the 2020. Um, World Series where my Nets sweep the Yankees 4-0, but let's be realistic, it possibly would go to Game 7. But that's for another video, and let's get straight into Jordan Reed. Man, I told y'all time and time again, we Redskin fans over here. No other stuff. That's how it's gonna be. Yeah. Man, we Redskins over here. Lead them cowgirls over there. Man, we Redskins over here. Lead them cowgirls over there. I don't like Eagles. I don't like Giants. Man, we Redskins till we die. We don't like Eagles. We don't like Giants. Man, we Redskins till we die. So noon yesterday, news broke that Jordan Reed is still in concussion protocol six months after suffering the con his seventh concussion and seventh concussion that is public. So we're not talking about the concussions that he possibly could have faced when he played middle school, football, high school, and Little League football. This is only the seventh concussion that we as fans and the public know about Jordan Reed. And six months after he suffered it when he played week three versus the Falcons, the re he's still in concussion protocol. That is just terrible, man. He needs to hang it up. He had a great career. We know how dominant you are, Jordan Reed, but injuries killed your career. And it's not your fault because it's not like it's not an injury that I'm not gonna say that you can't control, but it's not an in in it's not an injury that you could prevent considering the fact that you play a, a contact sport and a very contact position when you're banging heads and banging bodies every single play. So I'm not going to say it's not it's not your fault, but I'm not going to blame it on you 100% because it's the, you know, it's the occupation that you chose to do where you were banging heads and banging bodies every play. So six months after he suffered this injury, he's still in concussion protocol to this day. That If that doesn't ring a bell for Jordan Reed, then I don't know what will because he needs, he needs to retire. And um, if he doesn't retire, we need to cut him, man. As much as it pains me and bittersweet it will be when we do cut him or when he does retire, it, 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 it'll hurt us, but at the same time, it's just best for business, man. It's, it's all about business. It's no love lost between us and Jordan Reed, but it's just will be best for business, man. Jordan Reed suffered a seven concussion. He's only 20, I want to say like 27, 28, and we know how dominant you are, Jordan Reed. Jordan Reed is a top three tight end. Um, when healthy, honestly, it would be Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, and probably Jordan Reed, or you could say top five because you can throw Zach Ertz in there. But I personally feel like when Jordan Reed is healthy, he's better than Zach Ertz, and he's a top three tight end. And so we know what you're capable of doing, Jordan Reed, but injuries is not on your side. You can also blame week three injury, your injury, on Jay Gruden if you want to because he should have never, you know, put you in. He said himself and you said yourself that you are coming off the best training camp of your career. And why would he why would he throw you in? I don't know. Um for knowing how how easily I wanna say you can you get hurt and that was just a dumb call on Jay Gruden. So I mean I guess you can blame it on Jay Gruden. But at the same time I, 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 I want to tell you this, Jordan Reed. This is just me talking to you. I don't know if you're ever going to see this video, but I hope you do so you can just hear it from a Redskins fan. Please retire, man. Honestly, please retire. I know you don't want to, but you it do what's best for your family, man. If you haven't talked to your family yet, do that now. Sit down with your family. Have a conversation with them. Um, I know they're probably going to tell you, do what you feel and what will be best for you. But, um... 
they need to tell you what's best for you, man. You're 20, you're, you're in your late 20s, early 30s, and you have a whole bunch of life left after football, and you don't want to jeopardize that by continuing to play football, knowing how easily you can get concussions. We don't know, we don't know if you have CTE. It could, that could be it, or it could be forming. You don't want to end up like Antonio Brown, which you don't seem like the type of person to end up like like Antonio Brown, but. We don't. We want to. We want to try our best to prevent that. So what we need you to do is stop playing football. But at the same time, we can't just tell a guy who loves the game and who does everything for the game to stop playing football. So if he doesn't retire and he comes back, hopefully it's not with us because we know we need it. We need that cap space. This is beyond football at this point, though. It's just me. It's just a person-to-person -person conversation. Um, we, we understand that you like that you have that competitiveness drive you don't know um we, we don't know what it takes to be an nfl player we don't know what it means to be an nfl player so we can easily see why you don't want to just call it quits and all but although we we do see why you would call it quits because all those concussions add up man and we don't want to we don't want to risk your life after football you know we don't want to put that in jeopardy and take Vernon Davis for an example. Vernon Davis, he probably only had, you know, three concussions in his whole career. I, I'm just I'm just throwing out a random number in there because we don't really know. We didn't really know Vernon Davis to have concussions. But the concussion that he suffered this past season forced him to retire. He said it himself. He said if it wasn't for the concussion, he would play about six, five, six more years. So take that to consideration. I wish Vernon Davis would talk to Jordan Reed, man, to, you know, tell him what would be best for him. But at the same time, we can't tell another man what to do with his life. It, it, everyone lives their own life, and if he wants to play football again, he plays football again. I'm rooting for Jordan Reed, man. I hope he makes the right decision for his health and for his well-being because football is life, but at the same time, you do have a life outside of football. So let me know what you guys think down below. As always, it's been your boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the Redskins or the NFL. Once again, six months after suffering us his seventh concussion known to the public, Jordan Reed is still in concussion protocol to this day. What would be the smart move for Jordan Reed? What should he do? Um, I gave you my opinion on what, what he should do, and a lot of Redskins fans also feel the need, need or feel the same or have the same opinion as me where he should retire. Um, not to throw numbers in there, but this is this is all a business. We need to move on. If if we cut Jordan Reed, we'll save 8.5 million in cap, and we need that cap space. So make the move happen, Ron Rivera. I know it's gonna be tough, and when he does happen, if whether that's retiring or we cut him, it'll be bittersweet for us, man, because we know how dominant Jordan Reed is, and we know how great he would be for Dwayne Haskins and his offense, but. Injuries just wasn't on his side and caused him to his career, man. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see what Jordan Reed does moving forward. Once again, he six months after his injury, he's still in concussion protocol. Let me know what you guys think down below about this topic. Let's talk about it. What would you do if you were Jordan Reed? Once again, it's me and Boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the Redskins. And peace. Prayers with Jordan Reed. Hopefully, he figure this, figures this out and choose the best situation for himself and his family and his well-being. Peace, hell to the Redskins.